Turk went to the Olympic Games representing Turkey. Yuko scored there with Wazari. So I think Kukatuk just made a very silly error there. Just lost her foot in as she was trying to counter her opponent. And now she's in a lot of trouble. Oops. So Wazari's on the board for Kea. Great lead, but still. Four minutes and 16 seconds to go. So a long way still to go. And I think this will just make Kukatuk just angry. So she'll be much more determined and start changing the pace and start fighting against her, her rival. Well, earlier on, I would have predicted that Kukatuk would have um, won this event quite convincingly, but um, now I'm not so sure. Seems to be struggling to gain back this Wazari that was scored in the opening seconds of this match. As they fix their geese, Kukaturk is, is probably contemplating what does she have to do to gain back this Wuzari. And it's a long way to go. Two minutes, 42 seconds. It's the last final of the day. And let's see if we can see it with a, a big throw, which would be like the icing on the cake. They are not letting her have her own way here at all. Very, very strong young lady. Kukatuk is looking a little bit ruffled here. And as those minutes tick by, so will her energy. So 1.46 left in this match. Kokoturk really now starting to look quite tired. Looks at the clock. 
sees how long she's got and wonders if she's going to get this back. This young lady, Kea, again from Turkey, obviously knows her opponent very well and has capitalized right at the beginning and has maintained that lead throughout. And there again, it born. Oh, fantastic. Kea disposes of Kukotak in the final of the women's plus 78 kilo category and does it in style. So an outstanding performance there, a nice finish. And like I said, the icing on the cake with that Epon. A brilliant finish to what's been an excellent day of women's judo. We see here, scored, she'll be delighted with that.